Yes, what's up? This is Warzone Jones coming back again with another video gaming topic video. Now basically what I'm going to be talking about in this video is how I got in video gaming, when I got in video gaming, how video gaming was back then. Because when, back in the 1990s, when I was a little kid, video gaming wasn't nothing. Nothing like it is now. It was completely different. You could not message somebody through the internet, you no know, online. <laughs> you know, you, you couldn't do that while you was playing your video games. You couldn't do that at all. So if, unless you was gonna message somebody through the mail or call them on the phone, you couldn't, you, you basically couldn't communicate with your friends <laughs> across the globe or something like that. You couldn't do that back then. Back then, it was just simple. No internet. Nothing like that. There was no strategy guide really that you could look up on the internet. Well, there probably was some strategy guides you could look up on the internet. But they will be very, very hard to find. Like codes back then were really rare to come by back then. Like in the 1990s, they were really rare to come by. You know, to find like, how do you beat this boss? How do you beat this character? What do you do on this stage? You know, what is the best way to to you know to get through a stage nowadays you can see walkthroughs on the internet not necessarily just read them but they'll put them on the youtube these video games will put them on the youtube and they'll, and they'll basically show you how to actually do it which saved me a couple of times by the way but you know the reason why i got into video gaming is basically because my uncle my uncle got me into video gaming because well he was a big huge video gaming fan and he the one who had the video gaming console so his sega genesis wasn't mine but guess what oh i played it like it was his super nintendo wasn't mine but guess what i played it like it was so it didn't matter hell we both played them all together we had fun together playing these video games because we love video games so we would rarely buy a video game we will rarely come back some money to you know to buy a video game so you know what we did we rent video games that's how we played a lot of video games we would rent video games so i remember this this like low budget video game store well excuse me video movie video store and it would cost like two dollars two dollars to rent a movie two dollars to rent a video game so every time i got me some money oh guess where my money went on those video games because I love video games. Video games are so important to me. They like they're they're just fun. And so before I hear that crap between people who say shit like, oh my god, this guy got too much time to play video games. He doesn't do anything else but play video games. He doesn't, you know, have a girl like shut the hell up. Like I, I really do can't stand people like that. So anyway, let me get back to basically this topic. The video games, some of the other video games out there back then that I loved, that I remember was Streets of Rage. Really cool video game. That game was fun. Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3. All, those, all three of those games were fun. Double Dragon, Mortal Kombat. You remember those games? Do you remember Street Fighter? Do you remember, you know, Mario Brothers? I don't see how the hell you wouldn't know the Mario Brothers because the Mario Brothers is probably... Super Mario Bros. is probably the most very famous video game like ever. Quite possibly, like quite possibly ever. Wasn't really too good at Super Mario Bros. back then when I was a little kid, but no, I did play it though because hey, it was a big deal and it was fun. Uh, Donkey Kong, Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, there was so many good games back then. There's still a lot of good games now, but there was just so many great classic video games back then. Those classic video game characters, they carry from the 90s and till now. And even, you will also get movies. A lot of people hate these video game movies. You know something? I'm going to say this. Guess what? There are video game movies out there that I think completely suck and that are garbage. But around this time, some of the video game movies that they made, I liked. I really did like. Guess what? And I don't care what anybody says. This is just my opinion. Guess what? I actually liked the Street Fighter movie. I liked it back then, and I still like it now. The first Street Fighter movie with John claude Van Damme. Now, I can understand why some people would say they didn't like it. I can understand that. I can understand the reason why, but guess what? I still like it. 
I don't, not saying it's great, not saying that it, it's a masterpiece, because it's not. It clearly is. It is clearly nothing, like nowhere near close to being anything like that. But guess what? I still like it. I still like it. Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. Now, I don't see how people could say Mortal Kombat was bad. I really don't see how you could say that. But Mortal Kombat, to me, was basically everything that the video game pretty much was. You no, know, it had the violence, it had the blood, it had you know, the characters, you know, how they acted in the. In the, in the video game, but you know, those are how I feel about those movies. So, Double Dragon, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, those are my favorite video game movies. And I can already hear you now. You're already saying, what in the hell is the matter with you? Hey, those are just the games I like, man. I know, I like them. You ain't got to like them, but hey, I like them. So, I guess, yeah, that's, that's all I pretty much got to say, you know. Video games to me was always important. They were always fun. The very first video game I ever beat was Toe Jam and Earl. You know, check that game out. They made a remake of that game a long time ago. Came out on the Xbox. But video games to me, they were always fun. I love the classic video games because it reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of how it was back then. It reminds me of how far video games have come from back then till now. So, if you haven't done so, Please click that subscribe button. If you click that subscribe button, you won't get a ticket. Trust me, you won't get a ticket if you click it. So, this is Wilson Jones. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other video gaming topic videos or my other type of videos in general. So, this is Wilson Jones. I'm out.